Hello, dear students. Welcome to a new math session. In this session, we'll be learning about the Euclidean theorem. The Euclidean theorem says, in the right angle triangle, the area of the square on a side of the right angle is equal to the area of the rectangle whose dimensions are the length of the projection of this side on the hypotenuse and the length of the hypotenuse. What does this mean? This means for this triangle, if triangle ABC is a right angle triangle at A and D belongs to BC where AD is perpendicular to BC, then AB squared equals BD times BC. We can explain it as AB squared equals BD times BC. And also for the other one, AC squared equals CD times CB. Let's go and see this corollary. It says, it says, if triangle ABC is a right angle at A, and D belongs to BC such that AD is perpendicular to BC, then AD squared is equal to BD times DC. So, this corollary says, AD squared equals DB times DC. We can deduce the previous corollary as follows. Since triangle ABD is a right angle at D, therefore AB squared is AD squared plus BD squared, the Pythagoras theorem, and AD squared is AB squared minus BD squared, and also AB squared is BD times BC. So AD squared is BD times BC minus BD squared, which is BD squared times BC minus BD, then BD times DC. And this remark says, if triangle AB is a right triangle at A, and D belongs to BC such that AD is perpendicular to BC, then AD is AB times AC over BC. It says that AD equals AB times AC over CB. So here we can have a summary of the relations of the Pythagoras theorem and the Euclidean theorem. This one, the first one is the Pythagoras theorem, and then the other four are the Euclidean theorems. Let's now go to the exercise part. Let's start by exercise number one. In this figure, ABC is a right angle at A, and AD is perpendicular to BC. Then, let's go and find AC squared is what plus what? As long as it has AC squared equals something plus something, so here we're talking about the Pythagoras theorem. If we had it as something times something, so it's the Euclidean theorem. In number one, AC squared equals two things multiplied together, so it is the Pythagorean theorem. So it is CD squared plus AD squared. Question two, AC squared equals what? Equals also Pythagoras theorem, BC squared minus AB squared. Here we're talking about triangle, the big one, triangle ABC. Question three, AC squared is what times what? Yes, excellent, it's the Euclidean theorem, which is CD times CB. Question four, AD squared is what by the Euclidean theorem? Excellent, it's DC times DB. Question five, AC times AB is AD 
times BC. Question 6. Triangle ABC is similar to what triangles? Yes, excellent. It's similar to DBA and also it's similar to DAC. Exercise number 2. The question wants me to find the length of XY, LZ, and ZY. Since triangle YLX is right at angle L, therefore XY equals the square root of 12 squared plus 9 squared, which is 15 centimeters long. So here, we can easily find the length of XY as 15 centimeters long. For question 2, we know that by the Euclidean theorem that YL squared equals LZ times LX. So 12 squared equals LZ, this is the unknown, times LX, which is 9. So, LZ equals 12 squared, which is the 144, divided by 9, which is 16 centimeters. So, here, the LZ is 16, and we already got the XY as 15. For question 3, to find the length of ZY, we know that ZY squared equals ZL times ZX. So, ZY squared equals ZL, which is 16, times ZX, which is 16, plus 9, which is 25. So, ZY is the square root of the 400, which is 16 times 25, which is 20 centimeters. Exercise number three. The question here wants me to find the length of BE and AC. As long as it's given that ABCD is a rectangle, then angle B is 90 degrees. So, as we just said, that ABCD is a rectangle. Therefore, triangle ABC is right triangle at angle B. So, I can easily find the length of AC by Pythagoras. So, AC is... 6 squared plus 8 squared under the square root, which is 10 centimeters long. So the AC is 10 centimeters long. BE, the question wants me to find BE. So, as you know that AB times BC equals BE times a, C. So, A, B, which is 6, times B, C, which is 8, equals B, E, that we want to find, multiplied by A, C, that we just got as 10. So, B, E, equals 6 times 8, divided by 10, so it's 4.8 centimeters. So, here, we got the BE as 4.8. The second part of the question, the question wants me to find EC. The second part of the question, the question wants me to find EC. So, we know that BC squared equals CE times CA. So, BC squared that we have as 8 squared equals 
EC that we want to find multiplied by AC that we got previously by 10 centimeters. So EC equals 64, which is the 8 squared, divided by 10, which is 6.4 centimeters. Let's now go to the evaluation part. And dear students, as I always remind you, when you see the question, pause the video, answer the questions yourself, and then play the video again to verify your answer. In this question, the question wants me to find the length of B, D, C, D, and A, D. From the givens as A, C, and A, B, I can easily find what? I can easily find C, D, because in triangle ABC, the right triangle ABC is a right triangle at angle A, therefore BC equals the square root of AC squared plus AB squared, so BC is 10 centimeters long. So the whole BC is 10 centimeters long. In order to find BD, we know that AB squared equals BD multiplied by BC. So AB squared is 8 squared equals BD, which is we want to find, multiplied by BC, which is 10. So BD is 8 squared, which is the 64, divided by 10, which is 6.4 centimeters. So here we got that BD is 6.4. As long as we got BC as 10 centimeters and BD as 6.4, so easily we can find that CD is 10 minus 6.4, which is 3.6 centimeters. You can also find CD by Euclidus theorem. The last one, which is the AD, we know that AC times AB equals AD times BC. So AC, which is 6, times AB, that is 8, equals AD that we want to find multiplied by BC, which is the 10. So AD is 48, which is 6 times 8, divided by 10, which is 4.8 centimeters. Dear students, by solving the evaluation question, we came to the end of our session. Thank you very much and wishing you best of luck.